So I gotta bend that rebar. And I could do it with a torch, but I got a big transformer, so I'm gonna try and use that. So I got my mini vice grips, so I'm just gonna hook up this wire and this wire to the bottom. I'm gonna go around 240 now. Come over here, get the big plug. There we go. Because if you don't, the 240 will spark pretty big. Okay, Alright, that's pretty bright now. Alright, here we go. Alright, here, undo those. Come to the side. Undo that one. Hammer. Oh, yeah. That is so sweet. Holy shit. <laughs> that works. Oh man, that thing is really fast. Ow. Christ, that was fast. <laughs> so much better than a stupid freaking torch. Oh man, that's already good. It's a little bent though. That's probably fine there. Oh man, dude, that was like a wet noodle. Ugh. Okay, that's probably good right there. These are actually pretty even too. All right, so now it's quite a bit closer to the other ones. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it's it's still really hot, and I already waited like 20 minutes. These things have a lot of thermal mass. At the proper angle, I cut this little wooden block at 30 degrees. All right, so I'm just lining it all up right now. It's kind of bad because it's kind of bent, but um, should be pretty good. Okay. That's the worst weld I've ever seen. Seventy-eighteen is just so much nicer. This actually feels really sturdy. Even though the welds suck. Pretty bad, actually, really bad. I'm, I'm not proud of those welds at all. Magnet that. Right there, that's the perfect spot. Lit up on the other side of that uh, rod there, so. That's too good. Ow, I got a flag in my foot and it burns. I don't know why I'm doing this in class, I'm an idiot. So there it is. Right now, at this stage, that is our beautiful masterpiece. It's pretty awful. I don't know. So the rain kind of stopped and it cooled down. So there it is. It's got some flash rust on it and stuff. It's kind of weird. I got to paint it. But I just went to the hardware store and got some more rope. And I don't know. It's only 20 feet, so it's not really that much. But climbing 20 feet high on a rope is pretty freaky anyway. It's a square knot. Are they like that? Oh yeah, so that's square knot. So I'm pretty sure you just square knot through. So there you go. I don't know what kind of knot that is, but hopefully it'll hold pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta find a freaking tree to throw this off. I think that one. Alright, so I'm going for that branch. I don't know. I don't know if it'll go. We'll try it. We'll try it. Okay. Let's over it. We'll try and get it. That should hold pretty good. So there it is. Should hold me. If it doesn't, I'll get the thing through my head and that'll <laughs> really suck. The rope's pretty wet too. So this tree has a proper rope on it that's pretty good for climbing, um, and it's secured well, so we'll just show you that. I got a blister on my hand too, so probably not going to get too high, and it's pretty freaking scary. Pretty, um, it's pretty high, I touched that branch up there. And there was like a snail on it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but that's that's this kind of rope, which works pretty decent. And I'm not even wearing gloves, and it didn't even hurt that bad. So just get some of this stuff. It's pretty good. It's like that thick.
All right, so I took the blue rope off and threw some paint on it. Just get some of that uh, climbing rope. That stuff works pretty good. It's kind of dangerous. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is you could fall 20 feet out of a tree and have this thing hit you in the head. And this like digs into the sand like that far if you throw it straight up. So it's pretty, pretty dangerous stuff. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to just do a dope project like this in a day or whatever when you're bored. I don't know. See you next time.